everybody, my name is Kim and I'm a part of the Blue Crew team here at Arizona Science Center and today we are going to be making zero waste paint brushes. My passion is in sustainability science and art projects and I love combining the two together and so I'm going to teach you guys how to make your very own zero waste paint brush that looks just like this. All right, so here are the materials that we're gonna be needing today for our zero waste paintbrush. We have grabbed an assortment of leaves that we gathered from outside, some sticks. These are going to be used as our handles for the paintbrush. String, so we can attach the leaves to the sticks. You can also use a rubber band or a hair tie or any other type of twine material as long as you're able to attach your leaves to your stick. Scissors, paper, and of course our paint. You can use any type of paint for this activity. Today I'll be using my watercolors. Once you have all of your leaves collected from outside, go ahead and lay them out on your table. Here is where we are going to make observations about our different leaves. So I have plucked one leaf from each of the plants that I have grabbed and I lined them up in a row. Here we can make all of our observations. All of the leaves are different colors of green and different shades. They all have different sizes and shapes. Some of them have more veins than others. And you can also compare the stems. This one is wooden and brown in color. These two are green and same with these. This is also a flower that I pulled off from one of the plants as well. So if you guys have a nature journal at home, you can log all of these observations there, or you can write them down on a piece of paper. You can even draw the type of leaf next to the observation for future reference when creating your different paints today. So first I cut a piece of string so I can wrap my leaves around the stick. I grabbed a bundle of my leaves like this and I kind of spread them out a little. I attach them to the base of my stick, and from here I'm going to use the string to tie them around to create the paintbrush. For extra support, it's better to tie it around twice and double knot it. Now you have your paintbrush and you're ready to go. And now you can take your paintbrush, go ahead and dip it into your paints, and begin. And you can create whatever design you like. Alrighty, well thank you everyone for joining me in creating your very own zero waste paintbrush. If you guys do, try this at home. Be sure to make your very own masterpiece, upload it to social media, and tag us at Arizona Science Center. Be sure to visit us online at azscience.org for more videos and content similar to this. And I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day.